Hey guys, welcome to Game Bad today, bringing out a video for our How to Outplay the Meta series, and today we're going to be reviewing a solo game. This is actually my first solo win probably in like eight months. I really haven't been playing too much solos lately, so I was finally able to get my first solo win in nearly a year, it seems like, at this point. So we'll run through that. Again, using very unconventional weapons here in Season 4, the current meta is very difficult, so we'll run through this. I'll walk you through the solo win, how to win games better in Season 4, and outplay the meta at the same time. So... Backing out, what we'll do here is break down some of the weapons that we're going to be using. You'll see here in the gameplay. So first off, if I strip this down, we're going to use my AK-74M build. And I'll run through these attachments really quick. We're going to run the PBS-4 or the Monolithic Suppressor. This will give us a sound suppression and the damage at range. And we will stay off the minimap here, which is key for Warzone. Cons are the ADS speed and the aim walking steadiness. But the AK-74M or the AK converted with the 545 rounds uh, has a very fast CTK. And again, very effective weapon. You'll see it used a little bit here in the gameplay. Now, the barrel option, we're going to want the Spetsnaz Elite Barrel. This will assist with the ADS, or excuse me, the damage at range and the bullet velocity. The cons here are the aim down sight speed. But this barrel, I think, is really probably the best one for the AK just because it doesn't slow you down too much. And it gives you what you need to compete at that medium range. So we'll go ahead and select the Spetsnaz Elite Barrel. Laser, we'll go ahead and skip. Now the optic, here's a, this is a really interesting one. Because the visibility is so poor on Verdansk right now, I had to opt to a solo zero NVG enhanced. So this helps identify basically the thermal target to identify people on the map because I, I simply cannot see anybody on the map with the way the lighting in this, this brown haze is. So it gives us that 3.25 zoom magnification. I've used this before on the AK and it actually works very, very well. Um, the cons here are the aimed on sight speed, but again, not too much of a problem with this weapon. Really, we're sacrificing ADS speed to be able to see, so I'll take that. So, Solo Zero MVG Enhanced, probably never seen anybody use this, but we'll go ahead and select that. It actually works out very well. Um, if you watch some of the Spetsnaz, the channel video I have up right now is the Spetsnaz uh, in, in Verdansk, Spetsnaz Alpha Guru in Verdansk. I have a good gameplay of this weapon in that video too. So go ahead and check that out. That's a channel video when you go visit the YouTube channel. I'll also go ahead and link that down below. We'll skip out on the stock as well as the perk and the grip. Ammunition here, we're going to swap out for the 545 by 39 millimeter. So this is going to give us that caliber conversion to the AK-74M. This will increase the fire rate and the recoil control will be easier to manage. The cons here, the damage and the range. But again, we're sacrificing this. Uh, the ADS speed, everything like that, your mobility overall is a lot better because we have the 545 versus the 762 by 39. So we'll select that. I am going to use the duly devoted blueprint here to give us a nice AK-12 style magazine. And then for the underbarrel attachment, we're going to go ahead and run the Ranger 4 grip. So you can get away with this on the 545 AK, a lot easier to control versus the 762 where I typically use a Merc. But the Ranger 4 grip, that'll give us the recoil control and the aim and stability. Cons are the aim walking movement speed and the aim down sight speed. So we'll select that. And this is our AK-74M. Again, the Spetsnaz Alpha Gru in Verdansk video for the channel video. I'll link that down below also. Has pretty good gameplay of this if you want to see it more in action. Now, the next weapon that we're going to use here, this is my primary class that I pick up first. I have my Carl Gustav here in case I run into vehicle meta and solos, which is very prominent. And then I also have an HDR class here. Very straightforward HDR. Just running the monolithic suppressor. The longest barrel being the 26.9. We're running a TAC laser, variable zoom, and the FTAC champion for the aiming stability and the aim walking steadiness. So one thing there, if I customize and go to the reticle, I'm using this second reticle, which is the cross thread. It just makes it a lot easier to get on target. I really don't like the default uh, reticle on this. It's very hard for me to, for some reason, get targets. Um, but the cross thread, very easy. You can hit those headshots, and you, again, it doesn't obscure your visibility of a target. So the cross thread is the one I'm going to be running here in the gameplay. You obviously have some other choices here, but for this, HDR is very precise, so we'll run the cross thread. So I'd rather run this versus some World War II, like the Car 98 or the K31. I think the, the HDR still probably, for range and everything like that, is the best sniper rifle in the game. So we'll be running the HDR for the Ghost class, and again, you can see the perks there. Operator here, I was running D-Day was my primary operator, but I was just having a really bad time inside of solos. So I had to switch it up to Bale here or running the Protectorate. And again, as soon as I did this, my very first game switching to Bale, we uh, got the win. So shout out to Bale gang and all the Bale fans out there. Bale and D-Day are my two favorite operators. Probably Bale here with the Protectorate 
being my favorite. So you can see him there with that AK-74. Beautiful. And uh, again, nothing better than Alpha Gruen for Dansk. So we'll go ahead and back out. We'll go to the weapon itself. And I'm going to run you guys through this solo gameplay here. So here's our final AK-74 with the HCR. Let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. So to start things off, I landed at Police, and I looted around for a little bit, moved up here to this mine shaft where I saw on my minimap that there was people on the train. So again, I'm going to mount and engage this guy. I didn't hit anything, unfortunately, but he went, he parachuted down. So what I'm going to do is parachute to the train checks here. Thank God I didn't get killed by the train. That would have been pretty unfortunate. But again, he parachuted down below me. I'm pretty sure he went to this village here to one of those garages, but I'm not sure. So I'm just kind of waiting for him to make a move. And there he is. So here I have the C-58 or the G-3. And again, easy headshot right there. Very low recoil on that weapon. So at this point, I'm going to move down by my loadout. I have a lot of money because I did a lot of looting right off the bat before I even got into that engagement. Um, so here's pretty interesting. Notice one thing I, I have crossplay turned off here. Just Solus has been very frustrating trying to get this footage. Everybody seems to camp everywhere. The amount of times I got killed going up elevator shafts. Things like that is ridiculous. Everybody's camping in every building in solos. There's really no movement. If you try and move or go anywhere, you're going to get killed. So you almost need to camp is kind of where I'm at with this is one of the lessons I've learned. That guy was just sitting there. I was his first kill that he killed me. Luckily, I win Gulag. So what I'm going to do is drop back where I killed this first guy because he did have pretty decent weapons and a heartbeat sensor, which I'm going to need. I move down here, use the heartbeat, make sure this guy is not here. Although I do see some uh, weapons on the ground, so people died and or got their loadouts already. So again, I'm going to grab my AK-74, and I'm going to run around, go back and pick up my dead silence that I left originally at the buy station. And literally what I do, I cut through this, we're going to fast forward here, but I did do a big loop around to make sure no one was in tower, things like that. My ghost loadout came down here. I checked all these houses with the MVG. I'm going to grab my HDR. Now you can see that I'm getting shot from this one house in front of me. So someone's, again, just camping in a window, just waiting. Um, luckily, I'm able to get my stuff. He threw a thermite, and instantly, because I cannot see, I'm just going to get out of here. He's clearly ghosted. Um, he's suppressed, so I'm just going to run and get out of here. I'm going to look at the circle. I'm going to get over to TV, which is my old favorite landing spot. So TV is probably my stomping ground here on Verdansk, one of my favorite areas to be at. And again, this guy in the truck pulled up, and he's going to shoot at me a little bit. Again, I spotted him with a the thermal there, so you can see how that worked against that rose skin. But he's going to, for some reason, drop an airstrike. Um, and then he's going to get back in his truck and drive away. So at this point, I'm going to get high ground here. As you can see on the minimap, he's driving away in the truck. So this is where I make a key decision here. Um, TV, since it has changed here on the new map, it's a little bit harder to hold. So I make the, the tough decision to get up into the radio tower here. So I climb up the tower. Risky move. I definitely... Could have made myself a target. I climb up the tower here, and I'm going to sit for a while. I can hear gunshots. There's a sniper car 98 here on TV. So you can see here, I spot him right where I was previously. Um, so I'm going to wait and line up the headshot, and instant, able to get the headshot. He's down. Typically, I use an M98 or an M82, excuse me. I use the M82, but here, I put the SDR on my class just because I needed something that I can rely on uh, with the bullet velocity and not take any chances. So I was able to easily hit that headshot. Now here I heard somebody drop in at their loadout. So there you can spot him. Now again, I have my ADS, uh, or excuse me, my, my aim movement speed turned down too low here in my settings. So it was hard for me to track this guy, but I'm able to get that headshot. Um, again, laying down the tower, no one's going to expect me up here. And here I'm laying down and now I start getting shot from somebody. So I'm gonna reposition. I thought I was probably done for there. Uh, so somebody had seen me. Rarely people are looking up here nowadays. So again, I'm going to use my MVG to kind of scout around and see what I can see. And I spot a guy there, even though he's too far to pick up on the MVG. I did see him. Again, easy headshot with the HDR. The HDR, um, very, very reliable sniper rifle and can compete easily with the Car 98 and the K31. Not mobility-wise, but... Another guy on TV, I somehow missed that shot. Didn't get a hit marker, even though I'm pretty certain I would have hit him. But regardless, the circle's closing. I need to move, so I'm going to parachute out of tower, and I'm going to go over to gas station roof. I had been kind of looking at where I needed to go here for a while. Um, gas station roof, I needed to keep high ground. I was going to throw some landmines there, but I heard this car coming in, and now you can see I have an airstrike. So I need to get out of here. I'm not going to even attempt to go into gas. I don't want to be inside at this point. Um, I loop around, and I come back, and I'm just going to play this wall. Now, there's a guy on my screen here, and if you can see him, point him out. 
and the timestamp that you saw him. There is a guy on my screen, and this just goes to the poor visibility of the map. I spot him right there, uh, but he was on my screen for quite a while prior to this, even before I cut into the clip. And again, you can see this guy's running cold-blooded, which is amazing to me that somebody's actually running cold-blooded. So this kind of worked against me because I ran the MVG so I could see people, and this guy had cold-blooded. Um, but I'm able to get that kill there. I broke him easily enough. The AK-74, a very reliable weapon. Again, if you want to see more action with this, go ahead and check out the Alpha Gru in Verdansk video on the channel page. I'll link it in the description below also. So now, at this point, Circle's closing in. I need to get on top of gas. I get up there. I put my mines down in case somebody attempts to get up behind me. Um, and again, this circle is shifting, so I need to look at... I need to keep high ground. I'm going to make a risky play here and get in this car because I need to get out of here quick. I'm not trying to get into gunfights right now. I need to get ahead of people and get tactical advantage. So I'm going to take this into the gas, play my gas mask, which you can see is now broken by the time I get to the roof. So I had to go up those stairs. It did break. I was able to get to the top. And now you can see there's two people left. I can hear a guy below me. He ran into the door. So he's probably cutting through right now. So I'm going to wait. And unfortunately, I could have easily... Now there's one person left, so it's 1v1. I, if I hadn't looked away for a second, I probably could have got him there. He jumps inside. Luckily, he threw, showed up on the MVG, so he doesn't have cold blood. But now he's below me. We need to shift back, and I, I wish I had had a gas mask, because I could, probably could have just uh, played this smarter. But again, he's below me. I'm going to drop this airstrike, and I'm going to move. Thank God. Uh, I don't know where he is here. He gets some shots on me. But I move in, I'm going to start playing it up again, and the airstrike hits him. So the A-10 is the ultimate meta. You can't can't beat the A-10 Warhog. And there you go. I got the final kill with the airstrike. Just really tactically moving around my opponents. Again, not the most exciting gameplay, but solos right now in Season 4 is very difficult. It's extremely campy. And you have weapons like the Fire 83, which have legitimately no recoil. And a lot of the Cold War weapons just seem to be very, very busted with the new barrel changes. So you have weapons with no recoil, no damage drop-off. So if you get caught out in the open or anybody gets eyes on you, you're kind of done and everyone's camping everywhere. So here I really needed to kind of out camp the campers and tactically outplay them, which we did. So it wasn't the most exciting gameplay, but again, we tactically outplayed players um, running car 98s, things like that. The HDR came in clutch and of course the AK helped me out where it needed to help me out, which was good. So seven kill win there. Really good gameplay. Let me know down below what you guys think. What are you running right now in Season 4? I'll leave you guys with that. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming with how to outplay the beta with the AK-74M, the HDR, and of course the A-10 Warhog. You can't beat that. That is the ultimate meta. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out.